Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this whole first wave of Godzilla vs. Kong action figures looks from Playmates. It looks absolutely incredible. We have the 12 inch figures, we have the 6 inch figures, and there's still more to come out. So as we find them, as we get them, uh, we'll be reviewing them here. And what do you say, man, that looks cool. What do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG? Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! Let's go ahead and review this giant Godzilla. He is absolutely incredible. They're going to kick it off with this bad boy right here. And man, is he massive. And there are absolutely some improvements from the Godzilla King of the Monsters action figure that it looks like it's almost the same mold, but it's not. So let's dive right on in and look what we have to do here. So first of all, yes, this is from Playmates Toys from the brand new legendary movie that's about to come out. Giant Godzilla, of course, the MonsterVerse. So very similar like the multiverse or the uh, cinematic universe. Well, for Godzilla and King Kong, it's the MonsterVerse with that monarch symbol right there. And look how beautiful this package is. Look how beautiful that Godzilla versus Kong, uh, you know, package looks. I love the colors. I love the way everything looks. It just popped right off the shelf. Look at that. Look how great. This battle right here looks and they're like on this aircraft carrier that looks amazing with those missiles being shot out and they're both on top of it I hope that's a scene in the movie because that looks unreal looks absolutely unreal almost looks like the game rampage doesn't it so let's see what the back says right over here Godzilla versus Kong giant Godzilla and Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. Go to PlaymatesToys.com. But, all right, back here it says, Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as a spectacular secret realm of the titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Well, that says a whole lot about what's gonna happen in the movie. I can't wait for it to be revealed. And let's get this bad boy on out of here. And I love the way he already has this blue charge going right here. Very much reminiscent of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And so I'm like, where are my scissors? Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and cut Godzilla free. First of all, right here. Ooh, it's pretty thick, thicker than these simple little safety scissors. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cut this bad boy right on over here. We're gonna have to bust that out. Perfect, and then right on over here, but this is gonna be a trickier than I thought. Sorry guys. You know what? I can just pull them on out. Look at that. Oh, there's one on my foot too. Okay, out in a sec. There we go. Perfect. And look, here's this massive tail going on. Let's just cut that quickly. There we go. There we go. Okay, so look, there's nothing left in there. Nothing left in the package. But boy, does it look great. Set that aside right over here. And this should be pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. So I'm right here. Look at his tail. 
and there's no instructions in here but at the bottom it does say attach as shown so shove in there look how small they made the tail look okay let's pop this on in there pretty simple look at this and just shove and twist there we go look how simple that was Ooh, that would have been cool if this continued all the way down here it does not but still nonetheless look how incredible this action figure looks and he's huge look at this and let me just say first of all this Godzilla is a vast improvement over the one from the King of Monsters and it's gonna be subtle the differences but I'll tell you what the differences are first of all um, okay first of all the wrists move that's something that wasn't present in the other Godzilla um, I'm digging the colors and his arms go significantly higher up and um, they go about the same down but significantly higher up look at this it's too bad the mouth still doesn't move it's too bad the head still doesn't turn but that is a vast improvement and the legs um, you know what I think they move very much like no actually they they do move further up look at that and way further back so that's incredible look at that they still don't move out but they do move a lot further forward and back and so here the ankles also turn that's something that looked like the ankles were going to turn on the last one but they didn't so this is huge and then of course this tail um, it only has this one joint but the only thing that I think could have been better is if the blue extended all the way down to the tail but absolutely this action figure is so great and then it's meant to have this right leg back a little bit like this so as to not have them both just standing forward like that which it would look like he was sitting so would you like to compare him to the other one we can pull that one right on out and then it looks like the screws on the left hand side of him which I believe they were on the right hand side on the old one let's take a look no that is correct so I'm gonna zoom on out and you'll see that it's almost the same sculpt but not 100% exact very 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 similar very very similar almost exact as a matter of fact but not so again this one has the screws on this side this one has the screws on this side, which, you know, obviously that doesn't make a big, huge deal as far as that goes. But let's compare the two. Okay, let's pull this Godzilla here. This Godzilla here, look at this. The heads are very similar. And you know what? I'm gonna, let me put the flashlight on because this other Godzilla is way darker. So, there we go. There we go, compare that. Look how it has the red eye. Look how the tongue extends further in the mouth. Which, that's a very minute detail, but still. There we go. And so I'm gonna put this back over here. And you're gonna see. This one's arms only go this far down. Which, this one actually looks a little further down, but only goes that far up. Look at that. And then wrists do not move, wrists do move. So that's awesome. And then this left leg goes that far back. This left leg goes even further back. And then while these ankles look like they turn, they do not. So let's see if this one's actually longer. It is. Look at this. So we're gonna put them side by side. And look at them. Um, Oops, sorry guys. Have them pretty much head to head right there. And look how much further this tail extends. So there is a significant difference in that tail. And plus it has an extra joint right here. So it can turn. But if you do notice, these spikes right here, they look almost identical. And as a matter of fact, you can trace most of them to be almost exact. Except look right here. And look right there. They are different slightly but they are different 
So, and then of course I'm digging the paint job on this one. And so this one definitely looks like King of the Monsters style, but this one looks more like the first Godzilla from the 19, I'm sorry, 2014 movie. But they both look great, and I'm sure you wanted that comparison, but there's also paint for his claws right here on his feet. His, his crazy looking nails. <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Absolutely incredible. And there wouldn't be enough room to have them both on a review station. Look at that. Oh, there's one taller than the other. Let's take a look at that. Maybe. Oh, this other Godzilla might be a little bit bigger, actually. Look at that. Maybe it's just because of the tail? No, he looks taller. Look at that. How can that be? Either way, doesn't that look absolutely incredible? Very cool. I'm going to take a picture real quick and then move on. This looks absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Let's take a look at our six inch figures. Those look absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's get these guys off. 